The story of Sukmyung Women's University began with the imperial family of the Korean Empire 100 years ago. In 1906, Myungshin Girls School opened as the first Korean national women's private school, Sukmyung. In a period when women had difficulty receiving an education, the emperor of the Korean Empire, Gojong, and empress, Sun Han, thought our country's future depended on women's education. The belief in national salvation through women's education is a spirit and the power which founded Sukmyeon, leading the Republic of Korea from its ancient imperial history. Whenever our country has taken a step forward, Sukmyeon has shined brightly, subtly evolving. Sukmyeon is the gentle power to change the world. Whenever I think of Sugmyeon, I think of the slogan, Gentle Power to Change the World. This is the spirit of Sugmyeon. Becoming the first female director of the National Forensic Service, which is a difficult position to attain for anyone, man or woman, was possible because the spirit of Sugmyeon, the soft power, the gentle strength that can change the world is always with me. When I became the first female conductor in our country, people thought that I was special. However, I'd like to create a world where female conductors are no longer special. At Sungyang, there are many who dream of becoming a conductor in the future, and I think that helping them to overcome the prejudices of the world to achieve their dream is what Sungyang taught me about leadership. If our seniors did not challenge the prejudices against women in our society, I would not have been able to achieve my dream of becoming our country's first female ROTC officer. Now, I must carry the torch which my seniors have carried for me and challenge new frontiers for the next generation. I dream of a small IT company. I call it Anhesu Lab after myself. Currently, I'm receiving academic scholarships from Google and I'm combining research with my studies. I hope to develop the Anhesu Lab as a global IT company. Four years ago, when I entered Sunyan Women's University, I started to upload my usual pictures or the works learned in school on a blog. Currently, Mulong has been seen in China, Southeast Asia, France, and even South America. I will continue to develop myself and hope to one day create a global cartoon character that is representative of Korea. Despite my age, I could fulfill my dream to become an announcer because of Sun Myung's leadership training. Not only did I learn about speaking in front of others, but I was able to adopt a positive attitude toward learning. Above all, working as a student promotional model, I became confident in myself. Our school is proud of our students. Student promotional models were selected for the first time in Korea. Luckily, I was also working and promoting as a model and looking at posters attached everywhere. I was confused and also felt heavy responsibility. Because of this, I decided to work harder than before towards my dream. Sun Myung has been known for cultivating female leaders, this despite the challenges of war, division, and modernization. With modernization, Sun Myung has emerged with a new educational paradigm that produces not only female leaders, but also creative individuals. People say Sun Myung Women's University produces a lot of women with great leadership skills. The students here are very self-directed in learning, and if there's trouble, they cooperate and work out the problem smoothly. It's great motivation for me to study with them. I often hear my friends and professors speaking about Soo Myung's 100-year history, and I know that it must be very important for Korean women's history as well. Soo Myung students have many opportunities to independently experience the world. They can visit countries they want to visit and study what they want to study. These opportunities allow students to command a greater global perspective. I have learned a global perspective at Sukmyung Women's University. I have also been given many opportunities to experience the world. These things gave me the self-confidence to help me work as a New York Times foreign reporter. These days, a lot of young people focus on themselves, living as individuals and only for themselves, without caring about others who live around them. In the case of Sukmyung students, 
They take knowledge learned both inside and outside the classroom and use their leadership on a global scale, helping those neighbors who are less privileged. After matriculation to Sungmyung, I visited Vietnam and Cambodia three times as an overseas volunteer. I taught Korean, science and art to children living in difficult educational circumstances so that they would not forget their dreams of going to school. I felt many emotions seeing those children smiling. People thought it would be impossible for me to become a school teacher. If it weren't for meeting good professors and friends at Sukmyung, I probably wouldn't be one today. I want to tell my students that the physically and mentally challenged are not different from us. I may be only one teacher in a large society, but I hope to be a teacher who can make big changes. Education at Sukmyung fosters internal strength, mental fortitude, and patience. Furthermore, I believe students learn the wisdom to overcome any challenge when confronted with difficulty. The history of Sungmyung Women's University is over the last 100 years. The history of women's leadership in Korea. Sungmyung does not promote strong power to dominate others and claim authority. Sungmyung uses soft power to serve and love others to change the world. That is our nation's proud university. Without the efforts and the challenges of Sungmyung's people, today Sungmyung never could have been. By continuing to uphold the values of leading with love and respect, Sungmyung will continue to gently change the world in the future. Changing the world. Changing the world. Changing the world. Gentle power to change the world.